This summer, it's possible that more babies and families in need will have access to donor breast milk here in Florida. That's thanks to a new piece of legislation passed by state lawmakers. The proposal is now on the governor's desk, and West 2's Marley Martinez tells us about the two life-saving options this bill provides to families with new babies. It's all about protecting the state's smallest, sickest, and most fragile babies. This month, Florida lawmakers passed a bill for families on Medicaid, saying donor breast milk will now be covered. It's an issue close to the bill sponsor's heart. Robbie is seven months old. He's my little guy. <laughs> Representative Fiona McFarland is a nursing mother herself. The data has shown that, that these premature babies, if they can get breast milk, then it shortens their hospital stay and it avoids some very serious fatal illnesses that typically happen to very small babies in the NICU. Right now, Florida Medicaid only covers formula for babies in the hospital. McFarland says this proposal will make breast milk or liquid gold an option for more families. What happens is either hospitals pay for it themselves or the parents have to carry the cost. And when you've got a, a premature baby that's in the, the hospital for a prolonged period of time, there are so many costs to deal with. And sometimes that donor milk is just when you're looking to save pennies somewhere, that is sometimes the first thing to go. The legislation also covers a second option for families, human milk based fortifiers, which is a big deal. Dr. Melinda Elliott is the chief medical officer for Prolacta Bioscience, the company that makes these fortifiers. And she's a neonatologist. We're talking babies that weigh under three pounds at birth, as small as under a pound, very vulnerable, very sick, very fragile infants. For those babies, Dr. Elliott says human milk fortifiers help babies more than cow milk fortifiers, which are often given because of cost. Florida is moving mountains by making these products available to every baby born in Florida that needs them. In Orlando, Marley Martinez, West 2 News. And if the governor signs the bill, it'll go into effect on July 1st.